All right. So this week's Hawaiian volcano summary. Here's a map of Kilauea Summit showing our earthquakes for the past week. So still a lot of activity there at Kilauea Summit. The earthquakes are colored by depth here, so those are all um, not quite as shallow as the red, uh, but slightly deeper as that orange color you see on there. So quite a lot of earthquakes right around Kilauea Summit. If I zoom this map out, you'll see that it's fairly restricted to that summit area. Nothing on the East Rift. We do still have earthquakes down in Pahala at the source that's feeding the whole system from deep, deep down and not directly connected uh, as far as time, time-wise to surface activity here. So that's what the map looks like today. Uh, here is our earthquakes for the last year. Earthquakes per week are shown here on the left and the last year here on the right. So here we are at the right end of the graph. And if I zoom it in here, our current week is not quite complete. This thing resets on Sundays. So you can, it looks like we're right around 400 earthquakes for this past week. We'll probably come up to close to this one, which was just under 500 earthquakes last week. You can see the weeks before that, we actually got up over, if I scroll it over here, the upper line is 800. So this one was 800 right here. That one was 600. This is including all the earthquakes in Kilauea Summit and Pahala region, just to make that clear. It's everything on a map we just showed you guys. But you can clearly see how, how it had been down here at a fairly low level as eruption was ongoing. The eruption ended. It, it stepped up to this elevated level here. And then about not quite a month ago, a little less than a month ago, it really stepped up a, a whole other gear here. Um, and since then, it's come back down a little bit. But even these two levels of last week and this week are going to be higher than what we saw prior to that. So we are still elevated. This would have been maybe slightly elevated, so we're definitely in the elevated range in here. And just waiting to see what happens next. And for context, this trio of weeks over here was a build up to the 2023 January 5th eruption. So in that case, we had three, four-ish weeks there of this elevated signals, right? So you can see looking over here to the right that we're more or less in that same time threshold here. It's been about four weeks ish or so. So it seems like it could could happen pretty much at any point in time. Uh, the USGS officially is stating that summit inflation is quote higher than conditions preceding that January 5th, 2023 summit eruption. And so that together with the earthquakes, we'll show you, uh, show you guys the inflation in our full update here. Um, but the, the thing to keep in mind is in January 2023, the earthquakes came up in about an hour before the lava erupted out of the ground. So it really can ramp up pretty quickly. And it seems like that is the, the pattern that we're in here is kind of waiting for it to actually ramp up and do it at some point in time. And of course, it's got to pressurize enough underground for that to happen. And as the ground is adjusting and moving, it may delay it by, by creating more room underground before it actually can pressurize enough to pop out the top. So that's the earthquakes on Kilauea here. If we just quickly go to Mauna Loa, here is a last week of last year of earthquakes on Mauna Loa, also per week. So this is our pre-eruption on Mauna Loa here. That very imminent, uh, the, that late November imminent eruption. We had that build up back through October the previous year, and here we are now at the right side of this graph, right over here at very low earthquakes level as well. So nothing really happening in Mauna Loa. There was a slight little. Um, Flurry happened a couple of weeks ago, but not much following up from that happening here. And that's the Hawaiian Volcano Summary for this week.